Good afternoon one and all and once again welcome to the video. This video I'll be talking about Amazon Kinesis Data Analytics Studio. Quickly interact with streaming data using SQL, Python or Scala. So here we are going to interact with real time streaming data. The, the example here we are going to uh, use is essentially these IoT sensor devices, logs, clickstream data is being pumped real time into data streams. From there, we're gonna use Kinesis Analytics. We're gonna analyze the data in near real time and then gonna dump it to the next downstream application. Let's take a look at the demo. You'll love it, I'm pretty sure. So this is the article, uh, essentially, by the way, this is the article written by Danilo. Uh, so I'll be walking you over the steps, right? I'll be showing you step by step how to do that. All right, so the first thing, uh, we are gonna build the architecture. So we need to see the architecture diagram. Um, you know, we are getting the data in essentially Kinesis data stream or MSK, it doesn't matter, right? From there, we are gonna use Kinesis data analytics where we're gonna analyze the data in your real time and essentially, um, you know, do some sort of aggregation and then dump it into, into the downstream uh, pipeline, right? That is the another data stream, right? So that's what we're gonna do. All right, all right, let's get started. I am extremely excited to do this. So first of all, I'll go to the data streams. And by the way, this article is a really, really amazing, has all the steps. So if you, if you, if you miss certain step, I strongly encourage you to come here and essentially uh, take a look at this, okay? So I'm gonna create a first my data stream here. So I'm gonna click on data stream and say uh, my input data stream, right? Uh, I'll be doing that, then I'll be creating my output data stream. So I would go here, let me make sure I, yeah. So I'm gonna create one more Kinesis data stream. So once I process the data, input is where the producers are gonna produce messages. After that, we're gonna process it, we're gonna make another pipeline for another downstream application, right? So I'm gonna make one more pipeline here, my output stream, we'll uh, you know, click on that. And then I'll click, uh, essentially uh, make a fire hose for a downstream application, uh, which is, so once the input stream re receives the data, we're gonna use Kinesis Analytics to process the data and then dump on the next pipeline. And then from there, uh, my downstream application is S3, so I'm using fire hose to deliver that data. So again, I'm gonna select, uh, first of all, I need to make sure that both of them are ready uh active active that's great so i'm gonna go on the delivery streams and then i'll click on uh, uh we'll say data streams and then we'll use s3 that's my downstream application uh so this would be my output stream remember because uh input stream is going to receive data we're going to process and then going to dump it in the next pipeline so i'm going to say my down It's a bit slow, I'm not sure why, but uh, so I'll just say my downstream app. I'll leave it to default. Uh, remember, there's an ability to do uh, partitioning, dynamic partitioning as well, uh, if you wanna do that. I'm gonna be selecting uh, the bucket. Uh, where did that go? The sample one. Yeah, sample Firehose 1995, right? I'm gonna dump there. Uh, so I'll be dumping it into the data folder and if anything goes wrong, we'll go to the error folder and then I'm gonna click my delivery stream. Oh, I need to do one small change. The buffer interval is actually long, so it's gonna take a while to dump the data on S3. Uh, but that's fine, not, not a problem. Uh, so let's let's wait for this to create, okay? So I have two uh, data streams. I have one fire hose. Now we uh, look forward to create uh, the analytics, right? So we're gonna create a notebook. This is a new feature that's released, right? So I've already created it. Usually it takes five minutes to start a notebook. So quick, uh, click on quick create and sample code, right? Then put in a name that you want. Uh, if you don't have a glue database, uh, click on create one. I already created one called sample DB. Uh, whatever, where is that one? Let me see. So I would open Glue on the next console. You can really, uh, it's easy, right? You can go to the console and just create a database there, right? So hopefully if that loads up, I'll be able to show you uh, database here, right? I have something called LearnDB because I was experimenting and learning myself. Uh, so database, uh, yeah, come here, put in whatever name you like, you know, okay? 
so back here and then all the way click on create studio notebooks okay once that is done there is one more thing you need to do uh, we have to configure our um, uh, so 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 head over to the configuration section uh, i think it was here i did in i am permission sorry my bad now here what we want to do is essentially uh, you should see something called include destination so we have a destination right the so the data is coming to my input stream we are going to perform some aggregation and then going to dump on the next stream right so i'm going to select and then i'm going to click on browse and that's my output stream i'm going to click on uh, save changes okay at this point this looks good and i'm going to click on save changes okay now once that is done uh, i would click on this uh, there will be a button called run please click that all right all right my notebook is finally ready and let's move to the next steps all right so the notebook is ready i'm gonna click on uh, open um, i clicked on open apache zeppelin right uh, this is what you would see normally right and now click on create new note and we will call this sensor right and uh, mm -hmm. we'll leave this to flink uh, we'll click on create now here we'll write our code right so we'll go to the uh, yeah, we'll go to this uh, website or the beautiful blog this author has written and then I'll, I'll I'll show you step by step here. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is uh, We need to I have a Python code or they have a Python code uh, this one So this Python code don't have a worry about the access key I'm gonna delete this after the video, but this is gonna send data at a very rapid rate I introduced the sleep here for one second, <laughs> right? so uh let me make sure i copy yep i have to go down and then i need to copy the sql okay here all right so i will copy the sql first and then i'll start my generator okay so what this does is basically uh, i'll show you shortly so this basically is creating a table uh, with sensor id current temperature status and uh, you know uh, the other columns so i'm gonna run that particular cell it's just like a Jupyter notebook, right? So it says pending. Once it is done, what you would see is uh, in the table section, you should see a new table being created, right? Uh, so let's wait. I actually wanted to remove this and actually do it from scratch. So I might delete this one. Uh, I might stop this now since I deleted that. So let's wait. Uh, need to cancel this one Okay, start it just started that's fine. Okay, so uh, Let's see if my table is there or not first of all. So I just gonna refresh here. Uh, it is there So I'll just make sure that I delete this one and I would read on the cell just to make sure that everything worked fine So I did run that and uh, now if I refresh I have that table called sensor data, right? Now that is great. Now we'll go to the block section. We have a table, right? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a select star. So uh, we should see the data in real time now coming in. Okay, so we'll do this one. Before that, I will start this Python script. Now this should generate data at a rapid, rapid pace uh, to my data stream. I have a one second delay. So now I'm gonna run this cell, okay? So I click on run and i can try my best to show you uh let me see if i can show you all right so hopefully a little bit you can see it's a little hard but uh hopefully you guys can see so now it is it, it is started pumping data right so now uh, you should see the data coming in here uh in a second or two so let's wait so i just want to make sure that this is running yeah now it started coming in so as you can see now, it's uh, fetching data in near real time, right? It's really near real time, okay? So now I'm gonna stop this. I'm gonna stop this as well. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna write a simple SQL that's gonna, oh, by the way, I would I, I could have showed you, you could also click on graph. It will automatically plot the graph, pie chart, area chart, line chart, whatever you want, right? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna write a SQL that's gonna aggregate the data. So. This is also provided here. So I'm gonna simply copy this uh, SQL statement and then I'll show you in the notebook, okay? So now, uh, again, I'm gonna start my uh, generator that's gonna generate the data. Now, again, I'll start this. So what this does is essentially groups by, uh, you know, uh, 
event event time and you know between an interval of one to ten seconds and uh, it's it's gonna print the average temperature and and, and the status right so I'll, I'll show you what it what it prints okay so let's give it a second so it's generating data now right so now it should essentially uh, print a count the average of the temperature the random values that we are sending right so now hopefully within a couple of seconds we should see this coming in yeah so now it's coming in right so error we have number one right average is this right so this is essentially uh, a group by statement right it's grouping by uh, the data in near real time okay so that's that you could again plot if needed how many okay how many error how many warning uh, again pie chart all, all these amazing real time stuff if you want you could do that i'm gonna stop this one here because that's not what i want to do now in order to dump the data to the downstream application so the same aggregated data i want to dump it to the downstream application so what we're going to do is essentially we're going to copy this particular sql and then i'll try to explain you what it does so i'll go to my notebook and so i'll try to zoom in as well okay so hopefully this is visible right so uh, what this does is it, it essentially creates a table called sensor state right uh, this is where uh, we're going to dump the data right to this particular table uh, i am going to make one change here uh, i'm going to make this to 20 and then here i would make this to double so let me just uh, okay it's going to change that and remember on my glue i do not have a table called sensor state okay i'm going to run this and now this should create a table here uh, called sensor state which is exactly what i see and now it's the end of the project right so now we're going to copy this particular sql and i'll explain you what it does so this particular sql inserts into the table called sensor state right uh, and essentially it's aggregating it's grouping by the data and it's inserting into the sensor state now remember this table called sensor state uh, we have connected this to my output stream this is again a kinesis data stream right so if you go to kinesis remember i made two data streams right uh, my output streams right so this is essentially that particular uh, part right so this 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 one right here right now as soon as i run this one oh, it's, it is running which is good so as soon as i run this cell so it's gonna real time uh, you know group by it's gonna group uh, my, my data and it's gonna send to the next kinesis data stream that is my output stream so if i go back to the diagram uh, this is the black box think of this as a black box right uh, it does some processing and then it goes to the next kinesis data stream uh, from there i connect a fire hose and then eventually my landing bucket is s3 my data lands on the data lake now again from here you could have uh, you could make an, uh, if you if your user wants to query the uh, data you could have a glue crawler and then uh, you could have athena here right so i can dump the athena athena here so now people can easily query this data using a standard sql the uh, you know aggregated data to build dashboards now the user uh, the user can uh, also dump athena on the top of this so now i can use spice and i can build beautiful bi dashboards uh, now using athena right uh, let me stop this particular one here okay and uh, i would stop this one also uh, okay uh, so now what I'm gonna do is I'll head over to my bucket and we should see that uh, data coming in here. So sample, uh, here you can see data, right? Uh, again, year, month, day, year, month, day. This is dumped by, remember, this is dumped by the um, the black box that I was talking about, right? Uh, this one right here, that is Kinesis um, Analytics, right? We made a studio notebook, right? And then we did that particular part, right? So if I come here, oh, sorry, if I come here, here is my download that one is uh, um, that then i can try to open it uh here you can see uh i have the data uh here again as you can see uh the data is uh, uh the json is right one after another uh, again I have a separate video where I essentially teach you could enable new line uh, delimiter in Firos, which means your JSON data would be uh, every new JSON will be on a multiple uh, new line, right? That is absolutely doable, right? But I just wanted to show you how everything works, right? So hopefully you got the idea, right? It works 
absolutely great, right? Um, and I, I strongly, strongly, strongly encourage every single one to come uh, and try this out. Stop the video, pause the video and try it out, right? Uh, the best way to learn something is to put in the time and effort. You got to stop the video. You got to go try things out. Uh, that's the best way you would learn it, right? So just by watching, you will understand surely. But when it comes to doing things, you might not be able to do it, right? So I strongly encourage everybody go and try this out. I'll leave the blog as well in the description. So please go and try this out. It's a really, really fun exercise. Thank you so much for watching. Keep smiling, keep programming. See you guys in the next.